Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. Uh, thank you so much for the support, even though I didn't, haven't did any videos, but I think some came out the day before yesterday. You know, it's just a blessing that, you know, you can be able to resonate with everything that's going on with us right now, especially with the lunar eclipse. You know, we're really going through a turn of events so i'm glad you're able to just still show support during you know all the crazy times so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell especially you know if you want to be able to know when i'm gonna get notified of doing a new video and if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just going to tell me about your impact and give how it impacts your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you'd love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I had to go ahead and take a break yesterday and the day before. You know, I'm just blessed that I still have videos. So you know, I still uploaded it, you know, came in yesterday. Well, no, day before yesterday. Uh, my daughter's aunt, her, yeah, my daughter's aunt had passed away, lost her battle of cancer. Um, she was doing good, and all of a sudden, things just went bad. So it was just me trying to take care of my daughter because she was really in a bad place with that. So, you know, that's really the reason why I had to take personal time out for myself, as well as help my daughter as well, you know, because she doesn't really handle death well. So, um, but anyways, uh, my video, well, my meditation music that I got going on today is called Meditative Music Healing, uh, 432 Hertz, Positive Energy Cleanse, Let Go, Feel Free, and Music Miracle. And I will be posting that link in the description box below. And my video today is Twin Flame 101, uh, Hey Oka, Strange Events That Could Have Occurred During the Lunar Eclipse is Making You Come to Terms. Uh, with tragic past and it really is you know a lot of things that while I was connecting with people it was happening even before um, the eclipse it was a lot of people you know it was like you know if it was females that you know if it was around their cycle and stuff it got really bad or it was just you know men that I knew that connect that their emotions like got really high it was like making you basically everything come to the surface it just like where I see it as and it's crazy when I just look up and I see this, you know, I see, you know, empath standing at a cliff and it's basically, you know, not telling you to leap, but it's like you have to throw your troubles into the ocean. It's like I keep seeing, you know, different empaths and they're standing at the cliff and they're, you know, and they have this like big bag of past and everything like that. You know, they're making you throw it in the ocean. I don't know why they made me see that, but it was just crazy. I just looked up and I was, you know, having it in my head and that was crazy. You know, so all these different things are happening where they could have been, it, it could have been stuff that this from our past that we thought we have let go, but there's still that residue that's there that, you know, they know that blessings are occurring in our life each and every day. And it's just like a lot of, a lot of times, you know, things are going on. We don't understand, you know, we, we have that, you know, we have that, uh, let me see what I want to say. It's like your intuition is telling you that better days are coming, but it's just like the way things are popping off around you. You might be trying to understand. Now, you trying to tell me that blessings are coming on, but all this different stuff is happening around me that makes me doubt that fact. But it's just the way they're allowing me to see it. It's like this had to go into play with your blessings because it's like a lot of stuff that has to be, you know, come to the surface and you drop it off so all these other things can come into your life. So it's like they're asking you to make peace with whatever you got occur occurring into your life. And I had to go through a lot of this because it was like a lot of purging, a lot of releasing, you know, separate myself. No matter what it was, it was very painful. Even if I couldn't understand it, they wanted me to just make peace with it. Because it's like you got all these different things that's coming your way. Your, your gifts are already, you know, going up a notch. There's a lot of people that are dealing with headaches like I had them really bad especially during last night and it's just like a lot of people are calling you know contact with 
be that are recently going through their spiritual awakening they're like Rosa why do I keep having these headaches and it's like you're getting a lot of downloads at one time and it's like on top of that your thought third eye is like cracked the hell open <laughs> you know so it might make all this like you're getting pulsations around your head where you know you're feeling discombobulated you know it, it feels like you can't you know focus on anything because of that pain is that bad you know and it's just like when people I have been having to protect myself because their energy is so strong I tend to get whatever they got going on like oh let me just protect myself I'm like, yeah, okay you got to do this but you know I'm just like timid like please don't send that towards me and I know they're not doing it on purpose but there are so many people I'm spiritually connected to where I can feel their different essence like whatever they're going through or whatever they're trying to decipher like you can tell me about certain things the next thing you know it'll trigger off something that's going on with you that they, I needed to sit up here and bring up so you'll know that hey whatever this is this is giving you answers you just have to take yourself to this place so it's just like really crazy y'all seen even my videos <laughs> lately it's like I just had to redo my video to the, for this one because lights just start flashing like pew 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 and I'm like you know what this <laughs> this has got it was just too much because it was just like light flash was like too much for me and you know and it's funny to me but it's crazy as well because I've never seen anybody's videos where light flashes straight through the video so it was just like oh because it started happening first right before I you know I pray every time I get ready to start doing my my daily videos or whatever I when I decide to do videos I always pray you know to give me that energy I can you know live off of myself or whatever messages you want me to shine a light on to go ahead and project in these videos but it's just a beautiful blessing there's so many people that are connecting with the community they are just now finding out their heyokas or trying to find out is there a label for the certain you know empath you are so it's allowing you to be guided towards this way to be able to, for you to be able to know a lot of things that are occurring into your life and it might be going rapidly so it's just like really crazy to be able to feel these different things like my heart chakra is like going crazy and it's like I'm not nervous about nothing but it's just like I don't know if somebody's energy is like nervous is coming towards me and I'm like oh god what is this <laughs> so it's just like going through all these different things it's been allowing you to you know come to terms with whatever you got going on that is in your life that you you know it's like you held on to this long enough you gotta let it go you know when it's like with me i've been going through a lot of stuff like a lot of different incidences came in where you know certain things now popped up between me and my ex or you know some kind of abuse that i went through with my my mom's ex-husband and his wife you know that start popping up and I'm just like what the hell I'm not trying to think about this you know this was like when I was 14 you know these things popped off and it's just like it's still I guess it's still to that surface about the things about them separating me from my biological family so it was really you know getting to me in that worst way but it was a blessing to be able to see those things and basically tell myself you know what you have been attached to this pain for so long just let it go you know there's nothing you can change about that it's not gonna bring your dad back you know it's not gonna bring that connection back you know there's certain things that had to occur for you to be able to understand you know why you're doing what you're doing you know there's a lot of things that you know makes me feel blessed that I did do it's a, just the bad thing is about it is that I didn't get to connect with my biological family but um it was just like being able to experience all these different things and be able to, you know, be that open book, tell people, you know, things that I struggle with, the things that, you know, has helped me bring me to this part of my life that, you know, being able to help other people, letting them know, even though we have experienced so much tragedy in our life, it's never too late to come to terms with it and heal, you know. That, yeah, it sucks when people have done things to you. You know, you try to make sense of why these people would do this to you or why would they, you know, put this veil over you to where you're ignorant towards certain things that occurs in your life and it takes such tragedies for them to actually come to the surface surface and it tells you like, hey, this is what you are. And you're like, what? <laughs> you know, I'm what now? And it's just like all these different things are popping off in your life. That you need to you know come to terms with you know a lot of my my children especially my middle daughter she's very spiritually um 
enhanced. You know, like my 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 oldest one and my youngest one as well, but they haven't come to terms with it yet because they'll just ignore that mess and just like, uh, nah, uh, uh-uh, I don't want to deal with that. And I'm like, okay, it's gonna have to take something like it did with me for you to actually, you know, come to terms with it. My middle daughter, she's just like so much like me. She actually came to terms with it. Like, mom, I'm this, I'm that. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. At least one of my kids, you know, coming out to, you know, acknowledge what they are. But you know, she always comes to me with like mom why am I going through this or you know can you tell me the reason why I'm like oh this and this and that it's like oh okay thanks mom you know and it will be okay but it's like when my other two daughters would be like mom that's so weird but a lot of the things that have been occurring even it probably could have happened like two or three days before the lunar lunar eclipse came but that was like the break when it came last night it had like they were leading you up to this point it might have felt that way like okay you know even though the the chapter has started over there's a lot of things that's probably been lingered on to this new chapter they're like hold up (laughs) you're in a new chapter now you can't be going away you can't go about the, the things that you have occurred in your old life to come and you know tag along to the new life so we're allowing you to go through these cycles unfortunate events like that movie called I forgot what that movie was you know about unfortunate events um, I think it was with, with Jim Carrey my daughter and them like that movie but you had to go through all these trials and errors of whatever has been affecting you for so long you know it might it could be in a good mood next you know this stuff will pop up you're like it mess up your whole day but it's allowing you to go through these you know these certain events where it's like either either you get frustrated get irritated or you're very sleepy you feel very drained all these things had to occur because it's allowing your energy to flip the script on you but it's supposed to be a good flip the script you know it's supposed to be taking you to better you know better energy it's like your your energy had to go through a recycle point that's what it felt like so it's like all these different things had to occur in your life for you to be able to be at peace you know, it's, it's just like, I've been very emotional this morning. I was listening to this song Beyonce just came out with called Spirit. And that song was so beautiful. It had me just bawling my eyes out. It was just like, I don't know what is wrong with me lately. If it's like certain songs that t- comes in tune with your heart. And it was so beautiful. And it just, you know, it's coming from the, you know, the Lion King soundtrack. And I always loved that movie. It's like when I first got it with my daughters, you know, I thought like I was a little punk because I was sitting up here crying when Mufasa died. I'm just like, you know what, this is so messed up on so many levels. But just, it made me feel good that I was the only parent that was sitting up here bawling with their kids watching this. I'm like, man, you guys really had me in it. But it, you know, it makes me want to go see that movie. And I think it comes out Friday. So, you know, all these different things that, you know, are going about. You know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, it might not feel like it now, but it's just like when you actually come to terms with it and know that this is something best for you. You know, it might feel like torture or whatever with all these things coming forth and everything's coming to the front surface. But like I said, I see like a thousand empaths are on their, you know, on this cliff and they're just throwing things into the water like, you know, despair, hurt, pain, you know, abuse, whatever it is that, you know, that has left you feeling like you're a little wounded. They're making you throw that stuff into the water because they say you no longer need it anymore. It's like this, your pain is what brought you to the surface of knowing what kind of special empath you are, but you no longer need that for a security blanket. So they're making you release that so better things can be able to come towards the surface for you because you have, I I see a lot of y'all having big, you know, big blessings coming towards you like I see this big ball of light that's coming you know and it's not like an asteroid or you know the rapture or anything like that but it's like this this special light is like you know uh, symbolizing your blessings but I, I see a lot of y'all that are throwing when y'all throw your pain and stuff in you're being blessed with that light but there's some some people that are like still holding on to that pain for a security blanket so it's kind of like that light is like being shielded by your pain so it's not allowed to come in yet until you release all that other stuff that's been holding you back for so long but it's just like way is in you know coming to interpretation to me is that you know those those whatever you've been holding on to has brought what you truly are that you're being blessed with had to come to the surface it's like you had to deal with all these different things and it had to be your smack of reality to let you know you're this special person that went through this 
but now you got all this other stuff coming in but it won't be able to come in until you fully let all the other stuff go so basically i hope you were able to decipher or understand what message this was for you because they wanted me to talk about this today but you know i wanted to do lunar stuff yesterday but you know Mm -mm. it wasn't in the right time for me to do it so when they tell me hey go take care of your family go take your care of your family first and then you can take care of the other family the next day so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video i want to uh give a big shout out to tosh tosh i can't uh, uh trans whatever lord jesus now i know i'm talking about her because it's like her thought process is getting to me I cannot pronounce your last name, so it was just like they told me to go ahead and make sure that you have read this, you know, not read this, but see this video. But I know your energy is coming in strong for me because it got me talking like that. So, much love to you, and I will see y'all in my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I pray that everything you have coming forth comes to you and blossoms into your life. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.